Hey everyone, I'm Will from PyTop and today we're going to be looking at the new PyTop 4 DIY edition. We've been making the PyTop 4 for a while now, that's our portable go anywhere, do anything computer and we've seen it used in all kinds of amazing projects and it's been especially popular with kids in schools and anyone who's just getting into coding for the first time. That was always our objective. But we've also heard some important feedback from the maker community, people who are already comfortable with building stuff and coding stuff and who already know what a Raspberry Pi is and how to use it. And most of them have one already. So for those people, we've come up with this. This is the PyTop 4 Maker Edition. And at its core, it's the same powerful PyTop 4 with all the same great features, but we've stripped back all the accessories that you might already have and importantly, it doesn't include a Raspberry Pi, leaving you to install your own yourself. And what this means is that we've been able to drop the price point down to just $99.95. So, what do you get for that? Well, we like to think of the Pi Top as a suit of armor for your Raspberry Pi, taking everything that's great about the powerful credit card sized computer and making it, well, greater. So, you've got a battery which gives you five hours of battery life. You've got a heatsink and a built-in fan, which means that you can use the Pi Top without the Pi getting too hot, including if you're overclocking it. You've got the 3.5mm jack on the side and a loud 1 watt speaker. And you've also got a 64 by 128 pixel OLED screen on the top, which lets you navigate between your own projects and you can even put your own images on there. And above all, you've got Pi Top's handy form factor, which means that you can dock the Pi Top onto things like our foundation plate, for example, that lets you use sensors and lights and buttons. And you can also dock it onto things like Pi Top's motors and motion kit, that's our robotics kit with a built-in camera, or the Pi Top screening keyboard as well. So next up, I wanna take a look at what's inside this box. So I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna open it up here. So we're gonna pop this open here. And you see the first thing you're gonna notice is you've got this pouch here on the top. So if we open that up, inside the pouch, we've got this warranty booklet, um, that's warranties and instructions. And then also inside there, you'll find you've got this handy little pouch. And that pouch contains accessories that you can use to attach a hat, that's a Raspberry Pi hat, onto the top of your Pi top, as you would with a normal Raspberry Pi. And it also includes a screwdriver in case you can't find yours. So I'll just put that back into the box there. And we'll pop that to one side. So inside the box here, we've got the Pi Top itself. So I'm just gonna take that out so you can see it. Now we'll cover Raspberry Pi installation in another video, but I just wanna quickly show you how easy it is to put the Raspberry Pi inside of the Pi Top 4. So first I'm gonna flip it over, I'm gonna unscrew the back here. We're gonna slide out this metal enclosure. Take the screws off the bottom of the enclosure. Now here inside it, you'll see we've got this handy little DIY edition card, which has got things like a ruler on it, and as well as that, you can use it to check the pinout, the GPIO pinout on your Raspberry Pi, which can be quite useful. The Raspberry Pi then slots inside the case, just like this. And then when we've done that, we're gonna screw it all back together. It slides into the Pi top like this. And then just a few more screws, and there you have it. It's as easy as that. The Pi is installed and it's ready to go. And that's it for the box. There's no other cables or anything else in there because you probably have an HDMI cable at home already and an SD card to use with your Raspberry Pi, so we don't include those. There's also no power supply in the box. It works with any USB-C PD power supply. That's the kind of power supply you'd normally find with a laptop rather than a phone. You can get them for cheap on Amazon if you don't have one, or you can pick one up from our website. And that's all there is to it. So for more information, go to pi-top.com forward slash DIY dash edition. You can get more information there and you can also pick one up yourself. And we can't wait to see what you guys do with the Pi Top for DIY edition.